And now back to Open Mic Friday with Mike Spence and Butter. can't imagine. Are we back? I think we are. <laughs> Open Mic Friday. I forgot we were even on the air. We were just chatting and we, we got rid of the wild animal. Um, thank you for indulging that. It's a big part of the show. Everybody wants to see Butter. And they had called in. They wanted to see her inner, inner coat. Outfit. Yes. So that was, that was difficult. But uh, we have some news, local news. We have the boys uh, on the ski team that used to be on the Amador Argonaut team as a combination ski team, but it, they were both on the Amador team. And that was Pete Molinelli and uh, my son, Alden Spence. Pete. And Pete was uh, one of the best skiers to come out of Amador County. And they're like in almost 20, 21 years of age now, but they just qualified for the nationals. They were up in the regionals. Uh, maybe Alan can show a picture of my son uh, on his first jump. I have a picture. Oh, there, uh, oh, there he goes. Yeah, there's Alden. Yeah, he's, oh, he's so good. <laughs> he is so good. No, that's just a joke, obviously. That wasn't my son, or he'd have a broken collarbone. He's actually on a bus, or they're, they're flying out to uh, Sun Valley, Idaho. Oh, uh, Pete and Alden. Alden came in second. Pete came in third in the Western Regionals. There's a picture. And that's Alden uh, going oh, over wow. a jump. You can tell these jumps are uh, about 70 feet in the air there, flipping and twisting, and, and uh, he just loves it. It's a passion, and uh, he goes to Sierra Nevada College up there in Incline Village. And the kid who came in first was on Alden's team at Sierra Nevada College of the 10-time National Ski Championship School. Wow. Uh, very exclusive little school. But uh, Alden came in second, Pete in third, so the top three qualified for nationals. So they're on their way out to uh, Sun Valley, Idaho, and we wish them uh, all the best of luck. Wear your helmets, boys. That's right. Children, wear your helmets. Sun all the time. Yeah, do you think it'll make a difference going 75 yeah. feet? Uh, uh, you so know, did he have to, was he in gymnastics Yes, too? he okay. uh, loves, he lives on the trampoline. Okay, he actually he teaches, trampoline. teaches trampoline. Oh. Uh, but, you know, they used to, Pete and Alden, they would hit the gates and they were ski racers. And then why, why race through the gates when you can just fly over right. 100 feet in the air? You right. know? So they eventually <laughs> figured it out and decided to, you know, do the aerobatic uh, thing. And uh, it kind of they both committed. Uh, they had these baggy pants all torn up, you know, and all the kids out in Folsom had the spider web outfits, <laughs> you know, with 20. 20 kids on the sidelines, you know, all their parents and with the walkie-talkies. We had like two parents for oh. Amador out there and my son had the torn pants. He was on the wrong skis and, you know, but they kept, you know, they had the passion. Yep, they, they did. had the snow it's not about the, the ice outfit, in their veins. A, That's right. And it wasn't. Yeah. And they kept going. And I know uh, mindset. Pete's mom, uh, Chris and John, I'm sure the parents are uh, very proud of Pete. Oh, so, I bet. Let's talk about a little uh, real estate and tell me what's going on because that's the most exciting thing um, that I've been seeing. Well, in there's, there's, there's a, couple a lot. Properties we, I brought a couple at. properties and I was going to talk a little bit about uh, some first time home buyer programs and Great. that if anybody's a. Uh, interested in listing they're on the fence about listing their house is a great time this to list the time. Yeah. our inventory is very low and everybody is everybody wants to buy and All so we're having supply a supply has been taken up yeah right yeah. so we're having a hard time finding homes for for buyers out there so and the banks have loosened up a little bit in their lending and mm -hmm. interest rates are still mm -hmm. down and interest yeah. rates are great so. yeah that's great maybe alan can put up a picture of yeah the first uh, one, one the this was just listed um Actually, just a couple days ago, it's right in Jackson. Yeah. It's just on Main Street, Jackson. Oh, yeah, that's just right down the street there. Yeah, though. right down the property. street from that's our office. That's a beautiful office. property, yeah. It's, um, it was all remodeled in 07. It's got a newer roof, new, newer central heat and air, new windows, um, carpet. Um, it's got the higher ceilings in it. It's got all, all new doors. It's got a great little backyard. And these um, special loans that they can qualify, would this be a property? This would be a, a first time This would be a perfect home for the um, Jackson first time home buyer program, which is um, the, the purchase price on this home is one ninety nine, and this would, so if you were to uh, could qualify for the first time home buyer program, um, which is pretty easy to qualify, um, they would they'll usually pay about fifty thousand dollars, and it's a silent second. On the home, so you would be actually getting a loan for about 150, and we've even seen the city give up to 75 thousand dollars, and then your loan oh. would be on like 125 thousand. So you've got this very low. It's a lot payment, of assistance, yeah. Which is going to be 
a lot lower than what you're paying in rent. Right, right. Um, so that is a really great program. Um, and mm -hmm. the qualifications for that are, you know, a family of four, you just have to make under $54,000. So, and that's, Wow, you know, that's a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's a that's really great program. Um, and Ione also offers that program, too. There's money in Ione right now, and there's money in Jackson. Jackson, um, the problem is there isn't, there has not been a lot of homes out there available for people, and the money's not getting used up. And if we don't use it, we lose it. So right. um, if anybody's at all interested, you know, give me a call because it's such a it's a great program. What about the other uh, property that you have there? Let's see the other, see the other pro. Uh, well, actually, I was going to say that over in Rolling Woods um, for you know 55 or older community um, off of New York Ranch Road. Oh wait, Beautiful. we're going to go to the other one. Sorry. No, that's okay, we're going to go to. Uh, this is um, Jackson Gate. Well, that's right down the and street. And this too. is just right down mm -hmm. the street, too. Um, we're not going very far from town there. No, these are, we're kind of keeping it right. This one is yeah. a fixer-upper mm -hmm. for sure. Um, I just had a contractor go out yesterday, actually, and give a price on bringing everything kind of up to code and um, redoing the wiring and and roof setting, and, yeah. and everything and just getting yeah. it into a, a livable home. And that, so that property would qualify for a 203K loan, which is... A perfect loan. Um, you, you, you purchase the home, and the repairs will be done after you purchase the home. But when they go out to the, appraise the home, all the repairs that you're going to um, have done in the home, that's the appraiser takes into account those repairs, and then he does the value on the house with the repairs mm -hmm. being done. So you're able to purchase this home. Too. Yeah, yeah purchase this home, bit. and then you basically will have a brand new home. And that's a, a really great program. That's a 203K. So, mm -hmm. um, and it's a nice piece oh, of property. You can have a great garden right. out there. Well, I can appreciate that flatness. Uh, yeah. You know, living up country, I mean, anything that's wide flat. open like that and flat looks great to me. Yeah, and that's just yeah. right just right out of, out of town here. There. These are good. It's nice to... Uh, uh, this is one in the... Okay, the back to the Rolling Woods. So 55 I don't know older. how many we have. Do we have a picture on that one, Alan? What? Uh, I'm not this, sure this if is, I gave Alan a uh, picture. Oh, okay. Uh, gonna... This is uh, Rolling Woods, and this is um, mm -hmm. just, uh, it's 55 older community, and the prices are just great in there right now. This is a 1,248-square-foot um, home in Rolling Woods, and we have it listed for 28500 We just listed it. It's a two-bedroom, two-bath. I mean, it's great for somebody that's oh, on yeah. a fixed income yeah, or no something and, and needs Those to get good. into a... Well, I've seen a, a lot nice of young place. families, you know, in the, in the school district. We need more young families, and, mm -hmm. and um, it's great. I wish there was a way to reach out of market and let everybody know that Amador County is, uh, you know, a great place to do an entry level, mm -hmm. you know, first-time buyer, you know, all there these is, programs and things are just USDA amazing. USDA loan. It's for rural areas in our county. Um, it works it certainly in our county. Happen everywhere else, you know, and it's a hundred percent financing, so it's Jeez, mm, yeah. so you can still get basically get into a, a home for nothing. When my <laughs> wife and I first bought our our first home, uh, we paid you know excessive interest. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's like twenty percent on the loan, and uh, terrible credit. Uh, you know, we paid for that loan for years and years, and you know, to be able to start like this. You know, with a little bit of assistance at a low level and a good interest rate. Mm -hmm. I mean, what and the mortgage insurance on a um, USDA loan is very minimal too, so it keeps your payment right, right. payment down. So, and there's there's just so many programs out there. I it, I just don't think people are aware that you know you can really. It's very it's pretty easy to get into a home these days. Well, that's so. that's important, and especially if they come over to Davenport Properties. That's right. How easy can it be? That's right. <laughs> especially being so knowledgeable. And being able to get them out there and point them in the right direction and, mm -hmm. and uh, have the right, the right information and um, you know knowing knowing what's best for them because you've done it for a long time, and that's a great resource mm -hmm. in the community. And we'll mm -hmm. have to have you back on look at other properties because I'm sure people are enjoying this. But we want to thank everybody for joining us over. for uh, Open Mic Friday. Yeah, we don't really Hi, stay out for that, that long, quick. But, but we will be back next Friday and okay. we'll get you back on and we'll okay. talk a little bit more with Kelly Davenport. And, and thank you again for joining us here this week. You're watching Amador County's number one news and sports leader, TSPN.